Adobe have just released Premiere Pro Beta for Apple Silicon, and you're in for a treat. Want tech, gaming, and VR news that sucks? <coughs> Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Bit Valentine, and I'm not a professional video editor. So my daily driver is the new Apple Silicon Mac Mini. And I've been using this as my daily driver for the last two weeks. I've been using all of Adobe suites, including Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Fireworks. Nah, I miss Fireworks. It was my favorite. The M1 chip is kicking Intel's ass right now with an amazing performance boost, price to performance, great for the environment, lower energy. And it's just amazing. It's blown my mind. And with Rosetta 2, it's even better. You can run native Mac applications. Yes, there's a little bit of a delay and sometimes a little bit buggy, but it works. And because of that, there's a sh loads of app developers actually changing the code to be compatible with the new M1 chip. This is gonna change the future. Seriously, I am blown away with just the performance for this tiny Mac mini compared to my beast of a gaming rig. So I edited my first ever video that I have ever made in Adobe Premiere Pro. The last video, my first one about stream, about growth hacking, about growth hacking. My last video about growth hacking was my very, very first video that I've actually produced and made in Premiere Pro. I'm happy with the results. However, YouTube wasn't happy. More on that later. So to get started, I installed Adobe Premiere Pro using the official Adobe system. And um, yeah, it, it worked. It worked better than I expected. But when I hit the export button, it was equally as impressive. Like it's not even native. It's not made for this machine right now. It's using emulation and it's just um, amazing. Seriously, amazing. It's blown my mind how crazy this is. So with the Rosetta version of Adobe Premiere Pro, I loaded it. I did the movie, uh, I exported it. Job was done, happy. The compile time was quite impressive compared to what I've been reading and seeing online with the reviews. I was happy, super happy. And then Adobe released a new Premiere Pro Beta. I quickly installed it. After I exported the first video in Rosetta, which works great, I was ready to test straight away the uh, Apple Silicon version of Adobe Premiere. But bear in mind, it's still in beta. It's not finished. And I was still impressed with the performance. No crashes, no problems so far. And then it struck me, Google isn't happy. You can see their words, what they said about my video, which, which was a bit worrying considering it's my first proper video for Bit Valentine. Hey baby girl, what's up? Hi dad, I watched your last video, what does sh** mean? It's a bad word, you shouldn't say it. Bullshit. Your mom's gonna kill me. Shut, 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 bullshit. Come on. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Got me thinking, let's do a child version cut, testing the new Apple Silicon and then compare uh, the differences between Rosetta and Apple Silicon. It's the same project, exactly the same. The first one was done with Rosetta. The second one, which is the censored version, is exactly the same project working with the new Apple Silicon beta. So I cut out the parts where I was swearing with my potty mouth and uh, replaced it with fart noises just to see if it worked. And this is the thing is that what I noticed when I clicked the export button, it was exactly the same settings, just with Apple Silicon. And the results blew my mind. I know I've said that a lot already in this video, but it generally blew my mind. I'm gonna reveal the results very soon. I actually timed it and how it performed with some fancy charts. And then I thought, with these results, wonder how it compares to top high-end equipment which costs three maybe four times the price on the pc side of it so i brought my beast my uh, my gaming rig what i use for streaming i use this as a test as well so we imported my whole project over and i ran the test and i was shocked and i was blown away the results <laughs> wow bear in mind this computer cost me around two thousand six hundred dollars it's not a top 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 level computer 
it can do the job okay and the results are so yeah with the same project but loaded on the pc side of things yeah that's fast especially for a 4k edited video with lots of effects moving on exporting the same video with rosetta it took four hours 34 minutes so things are not looking good right now and still that's pretty much a, a good export and remember this is a m1 mac mac mini entry level eight gigabyte of ram yeah enough said and now moving on to the apple silicon version of adobe premiere pro beta it took 35 minutes and two seconds can you believe that it's still in beta and it took that long i'm not looking at the export time what happens when you first run the export I'm actually timing the whole thing. So from start to end, I'm running a timer. I'm using time-lapse software to time exactly 35 minutes, two seconds. The exact same video. This is still in beta. It does not make sense. Like I said at the beginning, I am not a professional video editor. I have zero experience with video editing. I am a total noob at this. So the conclusion is, Adobe Premiere Pro Beta, is it worth it? Yeah, hell yeah, f yeah. It's fucking amazing, seriously. Download it, use it. If you're professional, obviously wait until it's out of beta, but if you're not, f it, just go crazy. You're gonna love the speed of it. It's insane the how fast this thing is. Even scribbling through in double speed or even going through a hit and preview, it's fast, it's just responsive, it's quick. It's amazing. It doesn't feel laggy whatsoever. Imagine when it's fully released. We're in for a massive surprise. Imagine what it's going to be like on the M1X or the M2 or M3. It's a bright future for Apple. And rumor has it, Microsoft, the guys in Redmond, they're shitting themselves right now. And they're actually creating their own in-house Microsoft Silicon, which is obviously going to be a third party. I think it's Qualcomm who are going to actually make it. It's going to design a chip and just put their name on top of it. Yeah, I know Apple uses TSMC, but Intel must be f***ing themselves right now. Seriously. It's, it's just crazy. First AMD, and now Apple. Intel used to be number one, and you'd always buy an Intel chip set. Now they're in third position. It's, it's not looking good for them. I've also been testing out the new Adobe Photoshop Beta for Apple Silicon as well. I designed my thumbnail for the last video on it, and it is pretty snappy. I'm going to be releasing this video soon, so please hit the subscribe and notifications bell. And if you've got any suggestions for me to test on the new Apple Silicon, or any suggestions for any videos, please put it in the comment below. I am new to this. This is my second video, and I appreciate you watching it. Seriously, I genuinely appreciate it. Let me know if I'm pissing you off or whatever. Thanks for watching, and please stay safe. And please wear a f***ing mask. <laughs>